talked about the teaching, teaching writing, can writing be taught? And if someone is a good writer, can the teaching make them better? I think teaching may have made me a better writer, yeah. definitely. Well, that's as a teacher. <clears throat> yes, but do I, can you teach someone to write? Can you teach someone the technique of writing? Can you teach them the technical end? Can you give someone something to say? No. Can you teach someone how to construct a play and how to write competent dialogue? Yeah, you can. But that doesn't mean anything if they don't have anything to say. And they can teach someone. There's a great line from the Mary Tyler Moore show. <laughs> when she went to take a writing course, the teacher came up and said, uh, I cannot teach you good writing, but you can learn good writing. That always sort of, as, as flamboyant as that particular scene was, I, that always stayed with me. Where you can learn how to be a better writer, but it's, it's got to start, you've got to have something to start with uh, to begin with. And I always say, you know, as a teacher, you, you can give the kid, you can give someone the tools, but within you has to be the desire to write and to get better. If you don't have that, then... It's the same with painting or any it's other true. art. It's true, or just any artist. Yeah. I don't think you can teach someone to be an artist. Like, we can give them all the tools of the trade, you know. And you can facilitate their talent. And, and, mm -hmm. and help them find their voice, and help them mm -hmm. like, find... And I was very lucky yeah. early in my career. I had a lot of people who did that with me. I don't think it happens quite as much anymore as it did way back then. But I, I was very lucky early on that I had some really wonderful people who saw the talent and the lack of technique and really helped me with it. Yeah, I had a mentor for my first six plays. I wrote six plays in two years for a, a native theater company, the Bajum Jig Theater, and with a guy named Larry Lewis ho hovering over me, breathing down my neck, saying, this works, this doesn't, and tearing stuff up, cutting stuff. And he, it was baptismal under fire. And, and it's, you know, you can't be precious about it. If you want to be precious about your writing, go write novels, go write poetry, go write things that other people are not going to have to work on and pick up and bring to life. Because it is, you have to share it. It is always a compromise on some level. And, and if you don't get behind the excitement of that, if you're a control freak where everything has to be a certain way, you're going to be a very frustrated playwright because that's never really going to happen. I get so frustrated going to the TV world every now and again, and the TV people look at the playwright and go, oh, well, you don't know what it's like to collaborate. You don't know what it's like to have, you know, blah, 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 and change your work. And it's like, of course I do. I, you know, some previews that happen, and the audience looks at it and goes, that scene really doesn't work. And you go, oh, i got to cut that. And so, yes, you know, but in television, they change it behind your back. I know. <laughs> But you yeah. get money! Yes. 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 Lots of it! And we're very happy money. for it. You cry and all the way to the bank. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good change of my work! Oh, I guess No, no, my, my, my ratio for what people can do to my work and what they can't do to my work is entirely dependent on money. If I'm in the theater, fuck off, you're not touched. If I'm doing yes, TV, yeah. have a field day, just send me a check. Exactly. Either way, I'll give you my best work, but if it's for the theater, I'm keeping it money. Thanks.